For sale, blank, barely used, needs cleaning. For sale, a pearl necklace, needs cleaning. For sale, Sonic and the Black Knight, needs cleaning. That sounds very realistic. Um, you ever order, like, a game off Amazon and then the box is really sticky? And uh, that's just that's just what happens when you leave boxes sitting in a closet for so long. I mean, it even happened to some of my old games that I haven't touched in forever. It's like, ugh, why is it so sticky? And... <laughs> That's why I keep mine in a drawer usually. Shiny back in my day, blank only cost a nickel. <laughs> why did I sound like Frankie the Pitchfork <laughs> just now? <laughs> well, deal that I am, Shiny. Back in my day, a tattoo of big red arrow that points to my clit only cost a nickel. <laughs> he had a clit? What? Uh, Nothing hmm. said it had to be a man who's saying this. <laughs> uh, that's true, yeah. Shiny, back in my day, a tattoo of a big red arrow that points to my clay only costs a nickel. <laughs> Shiny, back in my day, beauty pageants only cost a nickel. Oh, I, that. <laughs> I Yeah, let's go for the tattoo. Thank God. I doubt that either, but I find it more likely. <laughs> I wish I could jump into the top painting of something with Mary Poppins. Not <laughs> her, no. Mm. Oh my god, I got one where if I picked it, you would say, like, fuck no, and this sounds like, Just I wish I could put it there to laugh, but I know you wouldn't pick it if I did. So. Okay, this one will work. I wish I could jump into the chalk painting of Huey, Dewey, and Louie of Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll jump into a chalk painting of Sex About Foreplay of Mary Poppins. Oh my. Damn you ducklings. Of course you want to play with the duckies. <laughs> it's so cute, little, cute little feet. And we were kids. Mom had Dipper wear a blank outfit and perform the blank dance. <laughs> that was a terrible Mabel impression. Oh, God. <laughs> when we were kids, Mom had Dipper wear an anchovies outfit and perform fellatio from an elephant's trunk. <laughs> God. What was wrong with your mother? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, when we were kids, Mom had Dipper wear... A Scott Cummers outfit and perform Vivian or the Vivian dance. <laughs> so, Vivian from Paper Mario, Thousand Year Dorm. Ah, uh, I like the the flag show and so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Dipper, poor Dipper. Yeah. According to you guys, the solution to world hunger is either launch pads yoke <laughs> or a human growth hormone used to gain an edge in esports. <laughs> I do believe in blank. I do, I do. I do believe in blank. I do, I do. <laughs> I do believe in magic. I do believe in magic. <laughs> I do believe in the power of girls as future teenagers. I do, I do. <laughs> I do believe in the experiment. I do, I do. <laughs> Both are pretty terrifying. <laughs> yeah, teen teenage power of girls was cringy. <laughs> I don't know. Princess Jasmine found herself in a sticky situation after she discovered the set of leather whips you received in the mail. Aladdin! What's up with the sign? Genie, put those away! But <laughs> she found herself in a sticky situation after she discovered Agrabah. <laughs> I've been living here all the whole time. time. <laughs> oh, it's been the place where I lived the whole time. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is tough, honestly. But I'll just go with Agrabah. It's, it's, it's like, how can you be so oblivious? <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by a warm hug from H Hog. Aww. <laughs> you're, you're your own sponsor. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by Buttercup's Butter. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, yeah, Buttercup's Butter does sound like a product. Uh, I'm. Gonna be partial because I'm H Hog myself, so <laughs> Ego <Well>, Maniac. <laughs> I'm partial. Sue me. Selfish. Selfish. Oh yeah. <laughs> shellfish. I'm shell shellfish. I mastered my karate by practicing on. <laughs> this is one I can see Seb doing if she could. I mastered my karate by practicing on. Someone who bakes all the goddamn time. And I mastered my card for practicing on bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. I knew it. I, I was like, there's no way that can fail. I, I, I know how much you said. I knew you would. Yeah, I knew, you, I, I knew bottles were going to come to mind. Yeah, that little I, was, 
I, I picked someone who bakes all the goddamn time because Beakley. Yep. Mastered my karate because of Beakley. Oh, so Webby. <laughs> yeah. Is it really a good road trip if you don't have blank? Is it really a good road trip if you don't have both Mr. and Mrs. Hardwick? Is it really a road trip if you don't have 7-Up? Yeah, I can definitely see a stoner saying that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude. 7-Up. 7-Up, now it's a party. Now boy, we had some pot to go with it. <laughs> After pecking him too many times, Banjo tried to blank on Kazooie's neck. He tried to the Santa Claus phone sex hotline on Kazooie's neck. <laughs> what? Is that what he calls it? <laughs> he tried to long jump on Kazooie's neck. <laughs> oh my god. It's like he's gonna scissor kick her and strangle her to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he just throws his backpack off across the room, then he does a long jump, <laughs> scissor kicks her. <laughs> if I could punch Chona, I'd be more than an abomination. If I could punch Chona, I'd be less than straight child from the grocery store like a rodeo cowboy. <laughs> I'd be as fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I thought she was going to go for as fantastic. Okay. When Mindy's mom asked Mindy to call her mommy, Mindy called her blank instead. <laughs> when Mindy's mom asked Mindy to call her mommy, Mindy called her hedgehog instead. Oh. <laughs> okay, hedgehog. <laughs> Mindy oh. called her Bert instead. <laughs> hedgehog. <laughs> oh. So cute images of hedgehogs here. A sea monster ate blank. A sea monster ate slow gold. Quicksilver's long lost triplet. <laughs> At least it's not gone gold. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I don't want slow gold. I want fast gold. <laughs> A sea monster ate the big poop you made in your hand during sex and before clapping it over your partner. <laughs> <laughs> you? Huge. Scrooge being more upset over him eating slow gold. I don't think it's actual gold, though. It's a quick silver. That's um, a Marvel character. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I figured, yeah. Be nice to waiters, or they'll put weaponized bees in your soup. No. Or they'll put a meeting that could have been an email in your soup. Please. <laughs> uh, <are> buzz bombers? <laughs> oh my. Once a year at midnight, I'm haunted by the ghost of Mulan's grandmother giving a gummy blowjob. Yikes. Once a year at midnight, I'm haunted by the ghost of two midgets sitting into a glass slipper. Oh, dear. <laughs> one of the many things that make up everything nice are... One of the many things that make up everything nice are that one porno you rented on accident. <laughs> nice. girls. Or well, I mean, it was before the girls were made. So yeah, that, I was gonna that say be, that would be Utonium's porno oh, he rented sure. on accident. Or all the comic books. I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's impossible because they never stop. <laughs> you can't all collect every single that, comic book. They haven't all been made yet. <laughs> all the comic books that Professor Utonium had. I don't know. That'd explain why the crime fighters, I guess. <laughs> but then again, they weren't that way overnight, according to the movie. <laughs> Did you hear that? It sounds like three old men in drag. <laughs> First generation Pokemon. <laughs> men in drag. Okay, a picture is worth doing drugs. <laughs> a picture is worth Tim Burton's strange willowy penis. Well, uh, drugs, I guess. <laughs> Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is. I mean, Mike could kind of work in a weird crossover sense, but. Okay. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is Little Sneezer. <laughs> hey, I, I just like the little mousy. Or her favorite pastime is Dorothy using the scarecrow as firewood. <laughs> Oh, witches. I get it. Mm -hmm. I see what someone did there. <laughs> mm, yeah, okay, let's go for that one. Funny how both were like crossover relate, but yeah, that's the one yeah. I was talking about. Well, I said it would work in a crossover sense. <laughs> so in the Banjo-Kazooie world, who would be Dorothy and who would be 
<laughs> oh god, I get Tootie would be Dorothy, and then Scarecrow yeah. would be Banjo. <laughs> Roger regretted allowing someone to join the team. Roger regretted allowing Warrior shitting a hole in his overalls to join the IP team. <laughs> Roger regretted allowing Katie Kaboom to join the IMP team. <laughs> yeah, I can see him not getting on with Katie. <laughs> Waiter, I found blank in my soup. Waiter, I found a really scared white guy in my soup. Waiter, <laughs> I found bitches in my soup. <laughs> Wait, I found it. <laughs> I, found, I found bitches in my soup. Thanks. Okay. Uh, blank in front of the police, 10 years in jail. Camel toe as a fashion statement in front of the police, 10 years in jail. <laughs> so, snuggling in front of the police, 10 years in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that one. Homer! Not for, not for a chief William. <laughs> so, snuggling in front of the police, eh? 10 years in jail. And thank you, it really made my day. <laughs> Blank. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! <laughs> Second time you got this one. <laughs> Life. I'll steal it! No one will ever oh. know! No story. I'll steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Piraters be like. <laughs> <laughs> I did my holiday shopping too late and had to buy my daughter the pop-up book titled Blank. I did my holiday shopping too late and had to buy my daughter the pop-up book titled Tarzan's Awkward First Sexual Encounter with a Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I had to buy my daughter the pop-up book titled Baron Von Gool, video game's greatest pedophile. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> That guy really is a creep. <laughs> Daddy, what's a pedophile? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Do you know where your blank are? It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your hands are? Right hands. <laughs> Do you know where your memories are? <laughs> oh. Ooh, deep. I can't I like, remember. I like the <laughs> Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Blaine, but why do we need blank to get blank? I, I don't think I made this one. <laughs> it must be part of a different pack, but... I think so, Blaine, but why do we need black like my boy's dramatic effect to get a hairy man riding a hairless yak? <laughs> I think so, Blaine, but why do we need life as a chicken to get life in his own cage? <laughs> That's what I think. Yes. Wow. Uh, one thing I gotta give credit for with the Animaniac show was for once Pinky actually got one right. But the context for why he did it, though, uh, makes it kind of a cop out. But, but it's kind of funny how for once he said it right and then brain speechless, you know, like, yeah. actually correct. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Blank never bothered me anyway. <laughs> let it go, let it go. My boss never bothered me anyway. Oh, I'd love to be able to say that. Anyone who actually has a boss who's, you know, like, my boss, that's my man. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Actually trying to paint with all the colors of the wind never bothered me anyway. My boss. <laughs> colors weave into a spiral of running from pedophile athletes. Yikes. <laughs> colors weave into a spiral of a moist asshole. <laughs> you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the only saw the only someone saw the colors of the wind answer. <laughs> I really like you, Max. For the very first time I heard you, I already like you, Max. For the very first time I heard you, incoherent ramblings. <laughs> For the very first I heard time I heard you, incoherent ramblings. I already like you, Max. For the very first time I heard you grind it down to a nub. Uh, oh my! It. What's it exactly? <laughs> Uh, Beast is angered by a weekend at Ginny's parents, or with Ginny's parents. You know, like honestly, that's one of the last like episodes of IMP I recall seeing. Like um, out of the top of my head, like um, I can't say I watched them all in order for, but it's like that's the last one I remember. It was like a two part special, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Beast is angered by random tripping. I don't know. <laughs> Damn this cape! I keep tripping over it. <laughs> I don't fucking believe it. They've got fish versions of Greg the Grim Reaper now. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I don't bloody believe it. They've got fish versions of me, the idiot, reading this card now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to go with fucking Greg, though, because... <laughs> That's of me now. <laughs> the hottest dick mitten in town is stealing our jobs. <laughs> Jake and Billy is a banjo and a sexy old willing ass for stealing our jobs. <laughs> hottest dick mitten in town. Why? <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here for blank. You shut your whore mouth. Billy Mays is talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to love watching the YouTube poops of these. But... <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here for sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> oh god, that's <laughs> kind of depressing when you think about it. But <laughs> yeah. hi, Billy Mays here for cocksucker who suck roosters instead of penises. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with the fishes. Plankton's latest plot to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula is Plankton's latest plot to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula is Lily Lily. <laughs> Or Plankton's latest plot to steal the secret formula is the finest dick cheese. <laughs> yes. I'll infiltrate the Krusty Krab, sneak the finest dick cheese in there, and then the secret formula will be mine. Plankton totally lost it by now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's to best avoid blank in the prison shower. It's best to avoid the taste of Jersey in the prison shower. <laughs> it's best to avoid playing Super Smash Bros. Each other in the ass bros in the shop. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> cool, how do we play? Bend over and I'll show you. No oh my. Christmas has been cancelled due to blank. Christmas has been cancelled due to someone who's sworn off showering. Way to go, dude. You just couldn't take a shower. Now you ruined Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas has been cancelled due to Pope Orgies. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, I can see uh, Santa getting offended by that. <laughs> In the name of Christ! <laughs> How in the fuck do Conker and Barry do it? How in the fuck do Conker and Barry do it? An idealistic young rat with serious talent in the kitchen. Is that what she calls herself? <laughs> or or, or <laughs> uh, A walk in the park to look at people's asses. <laughs> asses to you, then. I'm so looking for a definitive <laughs> answer. <laughs> oh man, both both have potential. Ashes. <laughs> I mean, like the perfect answer to this would be the one where Barry crushes Conker's nuts with a lap dance. Yes. <laughs> Every morning, I put tit cancer on my cereal. What? Every morning, I put timeless river on my cereal. <laughs> King March two. Yeah. <laughs> that was the black and white level from King March. Oh, yeah, so cute. Throwback level. I Oh, God. Just my type. Tall, dark, and blank. They're long, tan, and handsome. Tall, dark, and an unhinged jaw. <laughs> Just my type. Tall, dark, and wet dreams of explosive you drown. Okay. <laughs> Frankie! Go kick your wedding! It was ruined by animals! <laughs> Frankie! Go kick yogurt from the back of the fridge! <laughs> Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Don't kick his yogurt. <laughs> and her hair stinks. What does she shampoo with? Yogurt from the back of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it was from my Sonic Boom pack. <laughs> All right. That was, that was one of my favorite episodes of Sonic Boom. Be, uh, translate this episode. <laughs> mm. As a teenager, I couldn't stop fantasizing about... As a teenager, I couldn't stop fantasizing about living the thug life. <laughs> Or I couldn't stop fantasizing about dropping off your chow at the chow garden in hell. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know what your Fawful daughter did? Fawful had a daughter? <laughs> Do you know what your other bad day daughter did? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, one of them is the cancelled Conquer sequel, but I'll go with Awful. <laughs> Sounds like a weird way of saying Awful. What your Fawful daughter did? <laughs> yeah, don't you mean Awful? Shut up. I think Blank should be added to a Mario game. It would make things better. Inevitable Disappointment should be added to a Mario game. It would make things better. Ow. <laughs> I 
think Castle of Dreams should be added to the Mario game. It would make things better. So uh, the normal level from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep? I mean, yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> the disappointment would make it worse, so... <laughs> Mario's no stranger to castles either. <laughs> Junior Woodchuck's Guidebook Rule 42. Beware. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. <laughs> Beware naked duck butts. Beware death by cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, we're like rule 42. Beware drinking a roofie but lace drink on purpose. <laughs> Beware doing it on purpose? <laughs> That's like yes. Oh, God. Mario performed a ground pound on a blank and he suddenly felt turned on. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I can never understand how Mario could do that. Like, he's ground pounding on all these wooden pegs. It's like, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I had not answer, but too obvious, so I had a better one. Mario performed a ground pound on a dozen stunned onlookers, and he felt... Well, he suddenly felt turned on. <laughs> oh, God. Mario performed a ground pound on Sonic, and he suddenly felt turned on. <laughs> oh. Oh, quills up the ass. Feels not so bad, actually. <laughs> Disney World will be relocated after problems with... Disney World will be relocated after problems with Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> the rival of Universal Studios. What do you mean I can't go in? <laughs> after problems with the Unversed. <laughs> Those were the villains from uh, Birth by Sleep, King Mart. I see. As appropriate as it is, I kind of like the Princess Peach one. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, it makes sense. Like, um, yeah, Disney has a bunch of princesses, and soon uh, Orlando will have Princess Peach to join. Ah, him. remember this classic? In heaven, orgasms feel like. In heaven, orgasms feel like going fucking insane. <laughs> In heaven, orgasms feel like Uncle Zessie's tang sauce. Going fucking insane. Sweet. Five hour erection. Pure fucking genius. A new legacy. Pure fucking genius. <laughs> no, no. Um, I don't care what people say. I honestly like Space Jam too. So, <laughs> <laughs> give me a break. Give me a break. Break me a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you guys have those ads on your end, or, or did you used to have them? Or no. that's what they were. They were Kit, no, they were Kit Kat cool. slogans. So, give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> No, we didn't have that slogan anyway. Well, you're welcome. Ben. <laughs> have a break, have a Kit Kat. Yeah, we've got yeah that one. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. We have that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was basically a simplified version of the old jingle. But <laughs> yeah, I don't we, really... we we had like one like that on our end too, um, where they simplified it like that. But nowadays they usually just have a little jingle of it. They just have da 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 da. Or you know they don't have the the vocals as much anymore, but. I remember once there was um, a YouTube poop I saw where it showed Ash from Pokemon. He said, give me a break, and then a Kit Kat bar pops up. <laughs> give me a break. Give me a break. Breaking off a piece of that seductive eyebrows. <laughs> give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Bugs Bunny. Hey. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Break me off a piece of that Bugs Bunny. Like, what the fuck, Doc? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing says true love quite like. Nothing says true love. Quite like the time, time of the three months of wearing your dead lover's face on your own face. <laughs> oh my. Or quite like goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the simple answer wins. Wow. <laughs> white people don't have culture. Well, what about blank? Okay, white people don't have culture. Well, what about future fun land? <laughs> that was the last uh, hub world in Diddy Kong Racing, the space, ah. the future land. The one that a lot of people never got to unlock. <laughs> no, same. I definitely did, though, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> Easier in the DS version, though, but... White people don't have culture? Well, what about deaf mid-orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but um, a land sounds more like a part of culture than <laughs> something huh. that goes around in a creepy <laughs> way, but... <laughs> something that goes around. Ah, the latest restaurant trend. Cuisine from the latest restaurant twin. <laughs> Talking is hard. Elmo the latest rest. <laughs> I'm Elmo Ford. The latest West one twin. Cuisine from the man who accidentally gave me an autism instead of a tetanus shot. 
gave you an autism what an autism shot instead of a tetanus shot i think is what it means even then an autism shot <laughs> yeah yeah eh, people believe things you know cuisine from an itty bitty spider <laughs> <laughs> is it like ratatouille 2 the spider edition <laughs> i like that one i thought it was a wet dream but it was just blank <laughs> Ooh. I thought it was a wet dream, but it was just Mario versus Donkey Kong. <laughs> thought it was a wet dream, but it was just the drag queen that is Mary Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that Quill loves his awesome mixtape, but he also likes Ursula's bra size. Ugh. Whoa. What? Oh, she does have some tickle bitties, I guess. <laughs> but he also likes Banjo's victory dance. <laughs> it's more of a musical thing, I guess. I, don't know. I, like, I, I was like gonna that. say, like, I mean, uh, his way of d- trying to defeat the enemy in the first movie was a dance-off, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, <I> love this. <laughs> I've been getting into blank porn lately. I'm into bashful horse-sized penis porn lately. <laughs> I've been getting into furries porn lately. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to hear about the fucking penis or the fucking elf furries. (laughs) Furry, seriously. (laughs) You were my blank, Anakin. I loved you. You were my bitch, Anakin. You were taking over the Isle of Korodai, Anakin. I loved you. (laughs) (laughs) You were my shits and giggles, Anakin. I loved you. (laughs) (laughs) Babes in blank land. Oh, God, this one. Oh, babes. Where are those big babes? <laughs> <laughs> ah, babes in peat land. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what, like peg? I don't know. <laughs> babes in bitch and barrel cannons land. <laughs> I like how that alliterates. <laughs> babes in bitch and barrel cannon land. I like that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should uh, do that. Make a mod of Donkey Kong Country. Have a really hard level of nothing but barrel cans called bitching barrel cans. When? <laughs> yeah. Okay. When is he or she a Disney princess? Okay. When is Honey Bee's cleavage shots a Disney princess? <laughs> My God. Yeah. So when is most of the expressive sunflower a Disney princess? Honey, <laughs> her shit. Rare. Flowers, bees. Look at the connection. <laughs> They've got a sunflower and a bee. Fucking hell. It's like two, <laughs> two rare creatures that had no business being over-sexualized, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, she's a bee. She's a bee. That's a sunflower. But yeah, she's a honey bee. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell, do I choose? I mean, there was a sunflower character, a character named Sunflower, who goes cut out of Fantasia. <laughs> oh, fuck it. It wasn't really a sunflower, but she was named Sunflower, yeah. Yeah. Hey lady, want a holiday with blank? Hey lady, want a holiday with the poison you stuff in your vagina to kill your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get dangerous. Talk about a black widow. Hey lady, want a holiday with the taste of Jersey? I'll go with the first one. <laughs> Alright. That's just dark. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's political incorrectness for you. da 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 well, that's boneless politicians for you. <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> Looks like one is more vague and one is more specific. <laughs> both, yeah, I was going to say, both really work quite well. <laughs> One's more of a situation and the other's more of uh, actual people. I, I, I think I'll go with politicians. <laughs> God, this round is barely started. We keep getting answers that are just so vaguely similar. <laughs> yeah. The old hag gave Snow White a poisoned um, something. Can't remember what it was again. Oh, I forgot. It wasn't an apple, was it? The old hag gave Snow White a poisoned caramel mayonnaise <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> or the old hag gave Snow White a poisoned blowjob so good it freezes time. <laughs> How was that? Have a bite. <laughs> I mean, she kind of froze her time by making her sl- fall asleep, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Tails added a new feature to his plane. Blank! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes. Chills added a new feature to his plane. Halloween decorations. I can definitely <laughs> see him doing that in October. Tails added a new feature to his plane. Head trauma. <laughs> uh, trick or treat. Well, honestly, we have seen him crash before, so yeah, head trauma. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't crash this launch pad. <laughs> oh, let's see. Sonic Adventure, Sonic X, Sonic Boom. Nick. Need I go on? <laughs> Shut up, you bastard. One day in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh was awakened by Blank. Never get tired of this one. <laughs> I love it when, like, the first card that gets drawn, and it's like, yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> one day in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh was awakened by Diddy's electric guitar. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> fuck up. I was awakened by Grunkle Stan. <laughs> hey, Bear, I need to teach you how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, actually. <laughs> Don't let the police find out. <laughs> Banjo! Banjo! Wake up! Now! Let's get outside! There's... 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 There's banana hammocks! <laughs> Oh god, this one sounds fun. The Pokemon Company is removing Pornhub videos that feature their characters in lewd scenarios, such as the famous flick, Blank is better with Pikachu. A toddler caught in a revolving door is better with Pikachu. Oh, <laughs> Such as the famous flick, no gag reflex is better with Pikachu. <laughs> oh, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> big fuck you. That fiend, the evil man ray, is blank. <laughs> <laughs> I remember someone did an edit of that where instead of, uh, you know, the part where they're like, Mama, 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 and then, Mama Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another one. Ray, man! <laughs> that fiend, the evil man Ray, is a monster created by farts! <laughs> that fiend, the evil man Ray, is ugly! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's easier. <laughs> yeah. It's like as soon as I saw ugly, it's like, yes. I'm not even going to look at the other answers. Ugly, yes. <laughs> it was so ugly, and everyone died. Oogie Boogie had many instruments of torture in his lair. His favorite, of course, is a hairdryer. If only, I, if only we still had the itty bitty spider as an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an itty bitty spider. Wait, I got so many in there. Can I get them out? Free them, you bastard. Free the poor buggies! So, <laughs> Oogie Boogie had many instruments of torture in his lair. His favourite, of course, is adoption papers. <laughs> <laughs> his favourite, of course, is brittle bones. <laughs> oh my. More like his arch enemy is brittle bones. Pretty much, yeah, brittle bones. Arch enemy is brittle bones, yeah. Think about it. I mean, he, he tortures people with brittle bones. Well, yeah, he does have um, he did have like um, a skeleton and uh, handcuffs at one point. <laughs> naughty boy. Who could forget the worst member of the DK crew? Blank Kong. He's the worst member of the DK crew. <laughs> Who could forget the worst member of the DK crew? The giant monkey man Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget the worst member of the DK crew? Brand Flakes Kong. <laughs> Both are silly, but Giant Monkey Man Kong. It just sounds so needlessly complicated. <laughs> I'm going to blame you two. <laughs> Dads can't get enough of... Dads can't get enough of three raccoons in a trench coat. Dads can't get enough of fucking your teacher just to prove to your parents that you are old enough to start dating. <laughs> 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 are you winning, son? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to do this. You're already married. <laughs> I mean, is it like dads in the perspective of uh, my son is... <laughs> the dad is fucking his son's teacher. <laughs> or, uh, or your teacher, I guess. Whatever. 
Or like the dad is so proud that his son is fucking his teacher. I don't know. <laughs> well, I know like the, alone the question is meant for like obviously the student, but in this um, context, it sounds like you're making it be the dad doing it because yeah. he doesn't get enough of it. But. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Bizarre both ways. <laughs> it's like he's doing it to impress his parents. He's already a father. He's already married. His parents already know he can date. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. well, Sounds more right. like it would have been a cutaway for like drawn together or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's best to avoid this in the shower. It's best to avoid the closeness that comes from father daughter bathing in the prison shower. Yay! <laughs> Fucking hell. It's best to avoid a queef of relief in the prison of a shower. <laughs> the prison shower, yeah, pretty much. It was queefing in the shower. Really? You you think that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! I always um, hate it when people, I always hate it when people say this, but so that's why I'm going with it because I really want to hope that we'll end up making fun of them. But smash that like button and don't forget for every new sub I will try blank. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, on the Animaniacs season two, they had like Pinky trying to start his own uh, web video, and he kept saying like smash that like button, it, and then eventually Brian's like I'll smash you, Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button and don't forget for every new sub, I will try laughing so hard you can't stop farting. <laughs> Smash that like button and don't forget for every new sub, I will try Bill Cosby's sleepy, ta- sleepy time tea. <laughs> oh! Getting date right by Bill Cosby, okay? <laughs> yep, uh, I'll say we roasted them pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Blank declared war on mankind on all of us. He has to be stopped with blank. A tree hugger declared war on mankind on all of us. He has to be stopped with sea salt ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. If he's a vegan, then yeah. Pikachu declared war on mankind on all of us. He has to be stopped with Twinger Snaps. <laughs> so Twinger Snaps is the two-headed snake pinata from Viva Pinata. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Pikachu that was, one. And Pikachu is a mouse. Yes. Gosh. I'm, I'm glad you explained. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, mouse and snakes. I get, yeah, okay. I, I see where you're going now. <laughs> um, <laughs> gosh, um, <laughs> I mean, I like both really. Um, <laughs> first one making me laugh though. <laughs> I thought that was the point. The only thing I can stop thinking she was getting eaten by a snake. <laughs> yeah, ah, because it was so funny last time. As Conker browsed through his dirty magazine, he said, I say, Martha, ate my ice cream. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as Conker browsed through his dirty magazine, he said, The happiest place on earth. <laughs> 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 as Conker browsed through his dirty magazine, he said, A face that can drive rats from a barn. He's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. <laughs> happiest place on earth. <laughs> Smug little bastard. Blank. Well, thanks, Obama. <laughs> so, you know, I've got nothing against Obama. I think he was sweet. Mm-hmm. Neither, neither do I. Mm-hmm. It's just a bit of a meme, the whole thanks, Obama thing. So. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I always, I always love the Biden and Obama memes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Biden? <laughs> ah, <Ooh>. mango juice. <laughs> thanks, Obama. <laughs> Wham. Wow. Drop your shorts, buddy. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how to pick. <laughs> I mean, the first one sounds more like he's, you're being given something. So I know. <laughs> one sounds pleasant, the other sounds like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he did like both, though, but yeah. Ah, my god, this is always funny. Nothing like blank. Totally kill your boner. Nothing like shitting and shitting and shitting to totally kill your boner. <laughs> Nothing like sighting yourself on TV to totally kill your boner. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm ugly as fuck, so I can relate. Yeah, but I've not got a boner, so how can I tell that? So, yeah. Shitting. Hey! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Another Pornhub one. Pornhub was shut down after a video was posted displaying... Pornhub was shut down after a video was posted displaying all the masturbating Rapunzel did while Mother Gothel was away. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Pornhub was shut down after a video was posted displaying Kronk's boner concealing tent. <laughs> I don't know. A boner concealing doesn't sound as drastic as an actual <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I felt like a noob when I couldn't find blank. I felt like a noob when I couldn't find you're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> Oh, not this. Oh, you. When I couldn't find the, the, the airlock door, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean you're doing so good? Because if you're not listening to that, that means you're doing it perfectly. <laughs> doing it right. I felt like a noob when I couldn't find good breeding stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. During her amnesia, Bubbles thought she was... <laughs> drunk. Um... I always loved it, like, when um you see characters not acting like themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. During our media, Bubbles thought she was James eating your giant peach. I'm James. <laughs> yeah, Bugs! <laughs> During our media, Bubbles thought she was Mrs. Beakley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bubbles, people are Bugs is so ironic because she's terrified of Bugs. Oh, yeah. Except for ladybugs and butterflies, probably. Mrs. Beakley just wins this one. Fucking hell. Oh, it has to be a duck. Twinkle <laughs> Park, it says blank, get in free. Well, it says cute blank, get in free. <laughs> Twinkle Park, it says cute piercing with strange objects, get in free. <laughs> Twinkle Park, it says cute chains, get in free. <laughs> Hey, Sonic, want to get chained up? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> chains. And the panda here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Blank. Proof that God hates you. Solaris. Proof that God hates you. Final boss from Slank 06. <laughs> ah, yeah. Accidentally inhaling cum. Proof that God <laughs> hates you. I'm gonna have to go with that. <laughs> I didn't just want to put sweaty balls in my ass. Yeah, I think I'd be puking as well. I hate it when somebody puts the fucking lamb sauce in my ass. <laughs> Do I really want to put sauce? I don't think I want to shove anything in my ass, to be honest. Like a lamb sauce enema or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, personally, I think that would have been grosser too. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting anything in my ass, I'm sorry. Blank, the best way to cure a sick piñata. Okay, chemical sex, the best way to cure a sick piñata. <laughs> <laughs> A bomb, the best way to cure a sick <laughs> Yeah, just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to bed early, but my partner insists on staying up late for blank. Turning my tits into pincushions. <laughs> Kinky. But my partner insists on staying up late for Chad. Or Kyle, same thing. <laughs> you were Chad and Kyle. I'm also uh, not sure which one is mine. <laughs> I don't really see any of these cards in my deck, but... Uh. <laughs> oh, did you both click my card suck for this one or something? No. Okay. Only me. Yeah, I, li <laughs> I like the first one. <laughs> I scared birdies for president. <laughs> Birdie for president, that'd be amazing. <laughs> hot, sweaty, hot, sweaty X-Men characters for president. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Sweet. None of them are sexy, I'm sorry, but they're all wankers. What? Blank isn't a big deal. They'd still probably be more capable than a drunken scarecrow, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, probably. Deadpool. Uh, ice cream for breakfast isn't a big deal. Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 Not paying any taxes isn't a big deal. I'll go for that, because that's so ironic. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> and, it, and it shouldn't even need to be a thing to begin with. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey kids! Instead of bobbing for apples, this year we're going to try bobbing for. Okay, hey kids! Instead of bobbing for apples, this year we're going to try bobbing for a severe nut tree nut allergy. <laughs> we're going to try bobbing for durian. <laughs> <laughs> what? Durian's <laughs> those big spiky well, fruits. Durian, They're those big spiky fruits. It's like, oh, that you'd get like your head impaled if you tried bobbing for those. Oh fuck yeah. Sorry. Click the wrong one. Uh. I'm just, I just didn't know what Durian was. I'm retarded. Uh. I know what they are because of Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I'm just retarded, that's all. Oh, God. This dark one. Thankfully, Corona finally killed off blank. Oh, this is fucking dark. Mm, so is mine. 
Thankfully, Corona finally killed off revenge for your murdered family. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Thankfully, Corona finally killed off a quirky Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> oh, no, not, um, oh, what was it? Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings, runnings. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that. <laughs> <clears throat> Like it says in the Bible, marriage is between one man and blank. Like it says in the Bible, marriage is between one man and a collection of ladies' pubic hair. <laughs> I am so offended. I almost used that for the bobbing for apples one. <laughs> marriage and is I'm offended a lot for you bastard. I'm going to kick your ass for that. It's okay, I still love you guys. <laughs> marriage is between one man and shitting in your neighbor's toilet and leaving the lid up. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I think the first one actually uh, sort of matches that better. To- I don't think toilets were a thing yet in the Bible. <laughs> uh, that's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah. Ah, life is like a goddamn blank here in Duckburg. By the way, the other day I want to mention this, unless I did it in the last video, it was cut out. The Ducktail theme started playing during my tattoo appointment, and it was the funniest fucking thing. Ever. Yeah, you mentioned that. That was so funny. So, <laughs> life is like sipping on a gondag brown appeal here in Duckburg. <laughs> or, life is like a collection of fingernails here in Duckburg. <laughs> <laughs> that feels funny. I don't know why. I was going to say, that, and that feels like something you see in a cartoon. So, <laughs> eh. Crash bang wallop. If watching is all you're going to do, then you're going to watch Cop Snorting Powered... Powdered, I guess is what they meant to say. Cop snorting powdered sugar off a hooker's ass. <laughs> if watching is all you're going to do, then you're going to watch a symphony of queefs. <laughs> oh, I didn't even listen to, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, probably watching them happen is maybe even worse. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Does blank count as work experience? <laughs> No, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mayonnaise does not count as work experience. Fuck <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Is caramel mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> oh, boy. So, does Bronnie's use diaper count as work experience? <laughs> yeah! Change him, maybe, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Does breakfast count as work experience? No, Patrick, breakfast does not count as an experience. <laughs> <laughs> no breakfast! That depends how good your breakfast is. <laughs> you can't say like breakfast making breakfast, or making breakfast, maybe. <laughs> breakfast! Hey, yo, being, breakfast. Being breakfast I'll go for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. What was the fucking breakfast? What have you done to our breakfast? <laughs> Look what you've done, Nestle. Well, here I am. Conquer the king. King of all frantic factory. <laughs> well, here I am. Conquer the king. King of all the propeller hair. Yeah, but he's like a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it kind of works. <laughs> oh, another Tails. This is very similar to the one about his uh, playing feature, Ball Go. Uh, Blank, the best invention Tails has ever built. Um, I, I got a laugh out of uh, Roger. He made that 10-minute video about Sonic 3. I love the running gag of Tails just constantly beating Sonic to everything and leaving them behind. That was so funny. <laughs> Cut your back, bitch! A sexually transmitted disease, the best invention Tails has ever built. God, you bastard Oops. fox. <laughs> <laughs> Laryngitis, the best invention Tails has ever built. But yeah, I think an STD sounds worse. <laughs> Awfully. I'm the night of the blank. I'm the night of peach. Okay, Mario. <laughs> I'm the night of two gay gophers. Okay, if I, if I were to be a night of any, I'd rather be the night of peach. <laughs> but then again, that means I'd be surrounded by annoying fucking toads. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, I'd rather deal with Peach than those two gophers. I never found the gophers funny. They were annoying. <laughs> their shtick is they're just too polite with each other. That's it. It's like, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Max. My dad's going to destroy me when he finds out about blank. 
Oh, no, Max. My dad's going to destroy me when he finds out about ass play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, Max. My dad's going to destroy me when he finds out about Elton John humping a lion. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel the love tonight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't sound like something that would be <laughs> PJ's fault, so I'll go with that. <laughs> but, uh, it's like that that won't give Pete an excuse for blaming PJ for it, though. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, George of the Jungle, watch out for that King Cannon's King Sandy Butts curse. <laughs> watch out for Gaston's hairy chest. <laughs> That's funny. Damn it. <laughs> yes. You like blank, so your opinion on Sonic games is invalid. You like dropping off your chow at the chow garden in hell, so your opinion on Sonic games is invalid. Wait, what? <laughs> Doesn't that mean you love Sonic? <laughs> you like jumping out of a plane with no parachute, so your opinion on Sonic games is invalid. I don't know. You think like um, an extremist would love the the high energy rush of Sonic games? <laughs> oh no, this is tough, but. I guess because this one doesn't have a Sonic game mentioned in it, it makes more sense. You like playing Sonic games, so your opinion on Sonic is invalid. That makes no sense. <laughs> the band scene from Conker's Bad Fur Day involved... The band scene from Conker's Bad Fur Day involved one goddamn thing after another. <laughs> the whole game in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The band scene from Conker's Bad Fur Day involved beating children with other children. Whoa! <laughs> That does sound like something that would get a game banned, a scene banned. Yeah. <laughs> You're picking up a child and whacking him around a, a daycare or something. God. Yeah. <laughs> ah, another Conker-related one. Robin Beanley was inspired to make the music of Conker's Bad Fur Day by watching... Robin Beanley was inspired to make the music of Conker's Bad Fur Day by watching Bugs Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> or he was inspired to make Conker's Bad Fur Day music by watching Jimmy Fallon's long documented drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Conker getting drunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bugs Bunny fits this so well. Sweet. The only way to satisfy my lover is with blank. Or maybe oh. sometimes even blank does the trick. <laughs> so we, we're making fun of Steph here? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Clint, prepare for the funny plushie that you know who. Poor Steph, she has to make fun of herself here. I know. <laughs> it's not, and she's not even the judge. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? The only way to satisfy my lover is with twatting shite! <laughs> or maybe sometimes even these nuts jokes do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> twatting shite! <laughs> <laughs> The only way to satisfy my lover is with dickweed duck. <laughs> or maybe sometimes even the more broadly applicable and orgasm does the trick. <laughs> yeah, we have a winner. <laughs> oh, dang, I thought I was so close. <laughs> does dickweed duck and orgasms mix? I don't know. So, Steph, if you were the judge, would you have picked that too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thought I had it with twatting shite, but dark. <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was a really good option. I've heard I've heard stuff like what well, these nuts before. So. <laughs> <laughs> these big nuts. These big nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you want to go that way. It's blank. But originally it was the back passage. Oh yeah. I don't think you want to go that way. It's a dildo in an air hole. <laughs> I don't think you want to go that way. It's the cheeks. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that is the back <laughs> passage, I guess. Yeah. Ah. I bought the premium blender. Wow. Just wow. It turned blank to mush. <laughs> <laughs> I brought this premium blender. Wow. Just wow. It turned Frankie the pitchfork into mush. Really? You think it turned him into splinter? Oh, instead, but... They're using these two picks from now on. Wow, just wow, it turned Daisy Duck into mush. Oh, poor Daisy. Aww. <laughs> Why am I such a bitch? Mickey Mouse has a standing agreement with Minnie that he's allowed to have sex with blank. No, oh, please, please, John Daisy. I should have used Daisy for this. 
<laughs> oh well, fuck it. I'm gonna get more more assholey instead. Yeah. No, it's not Ronald. No, it's not Darkwing Duck. Dickhead Duck. <laughs> Dickhead Duck. Darkwing Deek. He is allowed to have sex with Merlin. No questions. <laughs> <laughs> Could he pick it as figure this? He can just suck my dick at this. <laughs> he is allowed to I'm have sex with Massimo Sakurai. Now we know how Sora got in. Exactly. Get Archimedes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> so he's weird. Yes. <laughs> Merlin is still pissed off. Love me to Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> What a naughty kitten you've been. I guess I'll have to punish you with Japanese dating simulators. No, not the Japanese <laughs> dating simulators. No, no, not dating simulators. Hemorrhoids shaped with red hot poker. <laughs> no, Ow. Not the poker. Not the poker. Oh, no. I don't know. There's something funny about trying to sit a cat down at a computer. You know, and then it's like the cat just wants to walk away. The owner picks it up and sits down. No, you play this. <laughs> <laughs> How can I put this nicely? You're kind of like if somebody turned blank into a person. <sighs> How can I put this nicely? You're kind of like if somebody turned Betty White's nude Christmas calendar into a person. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like if somebody turned a, a hypodermic needle in a ball pit into a person. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Launchpad's first crash was during blank. Launchpad's first crash was during putting your semen in a jar because you want to raise your children like sea monkeys. I see men. Yeah, sea monkeys. <laughs> Launchpad's first crash was during tainting the communion wafers with LSD. <laughs> what? Launchpad, you are on quack. Yeah, what? Communion wafer? Do they mean like communion bread? Or because I never heard them called wafers. I've heard them called bread, like at church communion. Is high on uh, yeah, like church communion, like little little cookies. Um, Cookie. They're more. They, they call they yeah, call them like bread. Wafers, it's yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they're wafers. Um, never heard them called uh, wafers before, but okay. I, I, I've heard it at some point, but I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not a church going man myself, but yeah. So he uh, crashed through a church. Yeah, he crashed through a <laughs> church. Let's go for that. Oh, pilot. <laughs> Conquer Ray's quit from his journey because of COVID-19. I don't know. <laughs> this almost sounds like, I can't say it's something that would make Conquer quit from the game, but it sounds like something that would get him angry regardless. <laughs> of ingesting at least four marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, I see him doing that. Because of a Christmas card about cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> No money in the card? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We just had a question like this um, a turn ago, but I never thought Launchpad would be able to crash blank. Yeah. I, I never thought Launchpad would be able to crash Dr. Robotnik's mean bean machine. Oops, I broke <laughs> it, Mr. D. <laughs> <laughs> would be able to crash Rabbit's TV party. <laughs> <laughs> Almost one mean bean machine, but not only crashing the game, but crashing a party. So, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Just do what I do when I have problems. Blank. Just do what I do when I have problems. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what I do when I have problems. Licking things to claim them as your own. <laughs> that sounds like something Patrick might do. Yeah. The real reason Conga had a bad fur day was... <laughs> that Christmas card one would have worked for this, too. <laughs> or, the, or the marijuana one as well. Really? You think he would want marijuana? But <laughs> I know. <laughs> Isn't marijuana supposed to relax you? Or <laughs> the real reason Conker had a bad fur day was was sending out to the kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> the reason <laughs> real the real reason Conk had a bad fur day was a coffee mug full of piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Every Disney movie has blank in at least one blank. And at least one dead parent. <laughs> yeah. Every Disney movie has dead henchmen and at least one Leroy Jenkins. I can almost agree with <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Every Disney movie has Goldilocks, that privileged bitch, and at least one sliding it around until it goes somewhere. 
Eh, dead henchman. <laughs> hey. Uh, what's this? What's this? There's blank. What's this? What's this? There's a snow globe filled with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> ew! <laughs> I mean, it works because of the Christmas thing, but ew! <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's legal marijuana. <laughs> Jack getting high. Oh my god. <laughs> what, what's he in? St. Patrick's Town? <laughs> <laughs> Bring stuff everywhere. <laughs> Using Sally's leaves to um smoke a joint. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, I can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some shit. What's this? I'm high. I'm really fucking high. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good though. But I mean, just because of the Christmas connection, I'm gonna have to go oh, with this. Fuck story. off! I was so fucking close. What had it? I know. They were both really good though. <laughs> uh, hello. I think he died. Are you bad? You're using because a butt scratcher. Mm-hmm. Are you a celibate priest? <laughs> I don't know. I really could so not use you... a bad because it uses a butt scratcher. Butt scratcher! Grunty uses Ding Pot for blank. Grunty uses Ding Pot for opening a can of whoopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does kick him around a lot. <laughs> Grunty uses Ding Pot for <laughs> a dog <laughs> slingshot. Can of whoopers. Ah. A dog slingshot. Oh my god. In life, he was known as Blank, but his gravestone just said Blank. In life, he was known as Rock Titan, but his gravestone just said the Master Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> In life, he was known as being so sexually frustrated you start a religious persecution. Roll. But, his <laughs> but his gravestone just said Radiant Garden. <laughs> I'll go with Rock Titan. <laughs> Sweet. Sonic Geek. I mean, not going to hold a funeral for the Master Emerald. Yeah. <laughs> Got shattered, and for once, I couldn't bring back all the pieces. <laughs> Might as well face it. I'm addicted to. Right. Might as well face it. I'm addicted to kissing trolls. No, killing. I think it's killing. killing yeah, I'm close to half asleep. I'm addicted to being peeked in by a bottle of while masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, actually. Chopper likes what he sees. Ew, you fuck off then. <laughs> Originally, Noah was going to put Blank on the Ark. Originally, Noah was going to put Charlie Day on the Ark. <laughs> Originally, Noah was going to put Father Michael's penis on the Ark. <laughs> Charlie Day. <laughs> hey. Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With Blank and Blank and Blank all in a row. Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With lumpy milk... Crusty old sock and lines of coke on your French college diploma all in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With being a shit wizard, Machoke's literary man thong, and digging a tunnel to hell all in a row. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I like the lumpy milk one though. <laughs> It's like otherwise, like being a shit wizard kind of made me laugh. Like being a, yeah. using spells to make your garden grow. <laughs> the real reason Smee serves Captain Hook. I just watched Peter Pan earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Smee serves Captain Hook or ring a wiener at the country county fair only to be raped. Got what you asked for, right? <laughs> or partners in time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because they are partners in time, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Paper Mario, the thousand year blank. Yeah, Paper Mario, the thousand year Mario circuit. <laughs> That's a long racetrack. <laughs> Paper yeah. Mario, the thousand year power washing your anus. <laughs> Mario circuit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> final lap. Oh, God, finally. <laughs> Son, we need to talk. I found something in your bedside drawer and i'm concerned uh-oh <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh fuck <coughs> are you guys gonna be dicks to me again not to you okay uh, let's go this one son we need to talk i found 
Oh dear son, we need to talk. I found what the Keebler elves really use to fudge cookies. <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> I found Pelvis Presley and I'm concerned. <laughs> yes. Ah. Coming soon from Disney, the hunchback of choking on the ball gag. <laughs> the hunchback of a one man band having a seizure. <laughs> choking on the ball gag. <laughs> ah. I am vengeance. I am the knights. I am blank. <laughs> I am vengeance. I am the knights. I am a day for your. <laughs> <laughs> I am Donald Duck curing you right after you use a high potion. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ronald. I wasted a potion because of that. <laughs> you wasted your MP because of that. What is this? This is it a sandwich? Maybe a real sandwich. One with Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of slacks. Maybe one with the constant smell of rotting meat. <laughs> yes. <Anyway>. Mario <laughs> plus I'm a pilot. Kingdom battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pilot. Mario plus Banjo moving the gear six up and down non stop on the saucer apparel. Kingdom I'm battle. Pilot. As cool as that crossover is, I'm a pilot. It's more simpler. So, Mario and Wanda. <laughs> I'm a pilot. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of blank. The hills are alive with the sound of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, nice crossover. <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of a boss fight that never fucking ends. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I like the crossover. <laughs> Gotta go with that. Isn't that just super califragilistic XBL bullshit? <laughs> Cocker, honey, that's you going for. I got a really dark one. Really bad. <laughs> Cocker, honey, that's you going for becoming a cop to shoot black people for sport. <laughs> Conquer, honey. How's it going for death by snowballs? That's some pretty big snowballs. <laughs> pretty, pretty big poo balls, even. <laughs> I love Blank. He gives me such comfort. Fuck. I love masturbating with mayonnaise. It gives me <laughs> such comfort. <laughs> I don't even like Clint, mayonnaise. I just want to hear Clint say that because it's so funny. I love Before <laughs> Babylon. It gives me such comfort. I just wanted to hear Clint say that. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, oh, these are bo- these are both terrible. <laughs> <laughs> We're hearing Clint say the first one. That's just brilliant. I'm not kind of giving it away. Fuck. Like if I were to do it with a woman, I wouldn't want it to be a whore. So ugh. I don't like mayonnaise though. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh>, it. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> just hearing you say I love masturbating mayonnaise just made me laugh so much. This apple pie was apple pie was made of love. Well, love and blank. This apple pie was made of love. Well, love and cute couples. <laughs> it says they get it free. They get it free. This apple pie was made of love and a realistic fish head. You? <laughs> uh, love and cute couples sounds good. <laughs> Attention, bikini bottom. I'm being baked into a pie. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Cloud of smoke and he appears a master of. Oh, I got a good one. Like, it, it just, so do I. Goes with Literally. the lyric pretty well. We're so, good. We're so goddamn fucked. Here we go. Cloud of smoke and he appears master baiting on the sofa. <laughs> smoke and he appears masturbating on the sofa. That's brilliant! Cloud is smoke and he appears. The master of Hazy Maze Cave. I always thought I had it, because Cloud of Smoke, Hazy Maze Cave. Yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> Fuck it, I will say that later. That is brilliant. That made my night. I was hanging on to that card for a good one, and I thought, okay, this will have to be the one. 
Wait, what is he masturbating on the sofa again? Darkwing Duck, you naughty boy. Oh my. I'm up to here with your addiction to somebody's dick. It's ruining <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm up to here with your addiction to telling children to place their mouths over the holes. It's ruining oh, us. Oh, God. That is awful. That masturbating one made my night. Yeah, I'm never gonna hear the Duck song. I'm never gonna hear the Dark Queen Duck theme the same way again. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of ducks, the real reason for Della Duck's ten year absence ran singing a little girl. Wow, Della, you dark bitch. <laughs> oh my. The real reason for Della's ten year absence, picking up dates in the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Della. Or Funzo's Fun Zone. Della, yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Naughty and, and really, like ransoming someone it really sounds like a reason for why someone would disappear. <laughs> God, we're gonna add Funzo's Fun Zone to the cards. Uh, getting your head shot off. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> a piece of the liver, a boy that takes hand jobs as a tip. Just do it. <laughs> oh. uh, getting your head shot off. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on the tuffet having sex in an alley. <laughs> Along came a hooker, came and took her right up the arse and up to the rally. Oh Little my. Miss Muffet sat on the tuffet not passing and go, not collecting $2,000, collecting dirt to jail, and keeping back in Monopoly. Ah! <laughs> 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 that was a messed up answer you had, but so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her ass all day eating cake. Not into the pig, it burns! <laughs> Not into a gift of jizz, it burns! <laughs> <laughs> Not until he shrunk, it burns! Gift of jizz. <laughs> didn't, oh, I was not trying there. I was talking my cards out, sorry. If I'm wearing a bikini, where do I put blank? <laughs> Women's. Oh, wow. And the original quote is my Pokeballs, but yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's uh, the sw- the Pokeball swimmer, the Pokemon mm. swimmer. Oh yeah, those slaggy ones. If I'm wearing a bikini, yeah. where do I like put my scarabs? <laughs> <Women's laughs> <secret>. Oh God. <laughs> Woman secret. If I'm wearing a bikini, where do I put the nasty putty? <laughs> Woman secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is um, a sandwich from the ocean. So. Yeah. <laughs> she likes nasty patties, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, Squidward. Now you're a prick. 